Okay, folks, all you Michiganders out there and pretty much anybody else, it, you know, if you're living in a state where um, they're attempting to put in these really large EV battery manufacturing plants and, you know, it, you just got to re research and study it a little bit. It's, it's kind of interesting to see how many different cities and smaller towns and smaller townships and counties are being targeted by these, you know, foreign manufacturers. And tonight is the next chat with Chuck Thalen, um, which happens to be the vice president for the Goshen Incorporated North American Manufacturing Company that wants to put in the EV battery plant there, okay? Now, this guy, I see, is, he's kind of a snake in this whole soap opera that's playing out there in Green Charter Township in Michigan, in Macosta County, okay? And I first came across some of the videos um, on this channel here, the Midwesterner. Um, they cover the town hall meetings, and they also cover the, the um, Goshen VP's little chat sessions that he has. So if you want to just watch the town hall, you can go and check out the Midwesterner. And if you want to participate in this, you know, little thing going on, this virtual town hall, um, they're hosting it at 7 p.m. tonight via Zoom. And there is a link. I'll put it in the comments. There is a link. I know I saw a link in this article. Yeah, to access the chat with Chuck Virtual Town Hall, you can visit this site. But hopefully the Midwesterner will be showing it and streaming it. So I'm going to try to watch it at the very least, okay? So if it's something that you're interested in, in keeping track of this whole situation going on with the manu EV, manu EV battery manufacturer, excuse me, uh, Goshen, G-O-T-I. O N, not G O S H E N, as the AI interprets it in the closed caption. It's G O T I O N, Goshen. Um, if you want to help keep track of some of that, offer up your opinion on it. If you're living in an area, even in another state, where you have your local authorities in your township or in your county trying to make deals with Goshen and some of these EV battery manufacturing plants and stuff to take over your territory, just really look into it really heavy. Because right now, out here in Nevada, we're living in what is being called a heat dump and we're being um, put into this dryer, this kiln, so to speak, this microwave dryer that's just zapping out all of the moisture and creating this extreme drought situation going on. And I think some of it, and this is just my opinion, I think some of it is intentional, that they are intentionally influencing our upper atmosphere in creating this high pressure, superheated system, this dome that it is essentially microwaving us, essentially drying up all of the moisture from ground level because they want to continue to put in these very large solar array fields, okay? And they're doing it in these places, these lower lying areas where there's these, you know, what they call dry lake beds, right? Where there used to be water sitting, where water would probably pool and sit again if they weren't superheating it and microwaving all of the water out of our atmosphere beforehand. So, I mean, we're being subjected to some intense environmental changes and subjected to some very intense heat out here and people are dying. You know what I mean? People are actually dying. And not to mention, people are going bankrupt trying to pay their freaking energy bill to try to keep cool. Because the NV, NV Energy has justified them raising rates on us because of the demand. Because they're putting up thousands more houses around us here. Anyway, that's another video. I'll probably do another video. I'll probably do yet another rant. I know I said that that last one was going to be my last rant, but I might have a couple of more when it comes to some of the stuff with Nevada and how they are essentially altering and influencing our atmosphere to create extreme dry conditions so that they can put in more of their solar array fields. Because if they had it their way, this whole entire desert that's so vast and, you know, void of populace, they want to fill up with all these solar array fields. So they have a great interest in protecting those assets once they make those millions of dollars investments into creating these solar array fields. It's in their best interest to keep it dry. Meanwhile, residents are dropping like flies from the freaking heat. Anyway, this video was supposed to be about the next chat with Chuck Thalen from Goshen. It's set for tonight, July 29th at 7 p.m., okay, which would be 4 p.m. our time. So I'm going to try to, at the very least, tune into it if the Midwesterner decides to broadcast it, which I really hope that they do. And you can tune in if you want, weigh in on your opinion on it. If you have Zoom, try to link up with this Zoom uh, virtual town hall. I'll put this link in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Know that I appreciate you. Know that you've added very much to me. And there's definitely more to come if I can help it. Okay, folks. So just one more thing. One more thing that I think is really curious is this guy here is willing to do a town hall meeting on a Zoom in a virtual setting, okay, where he can be nice and safe and then where he can take some direction from someone else that might be on the line with him that might be dictating everything that he's allowed to say, just saying during this meeting.
when he was offered up a seat. This is that town hall meeting that was streamed by the Midwesterner, okay, a few days ago. And you can see right here, there's an empty seat next to this guy here at this Green Charter Township town hall meeting. And it says Goshen, okay? That VP dude was invited to attend. And when he declined, they invited anyone else, any other representative of Goshen to attend this meeting here, which is with the real people that live in the township that the manufacturing plant would have a direct impact on. He was invited to go to this and he declined and they did not show up, which says a lot for the company, okay? They were offered a seat at the table to talk to these people and they declined it. But now this dude here wants to do some kind of a good faith thing on a Zoom call, on a virtual town hall. I just, to me, that seems very snaky. It's very sneaky, snaky, because this opens it up while it's on a Zoom call for other people to be involved in the conversation kind of clandestinely, like, you know, secretly, right? They can have this secret and watching and then typing in and telling this guy exactly what to say and how to respond to any questions that he might be posed with in his, in his hosting a Zoom call on a town hall with the town. When the town was already together here, you had an opportunity. But instead, this is what you're going to do. This guy's a snake. Just putting it out there. That's my opinion. Anyway, just had to add that in there. Just a snakish thing to do.